So I've come up with a new little jig to help with digitizing of my uh, negatives using a DSLR. I've got a light tablet and I've printed a, a 120-220 version of this and also a, a 35 millimeter version of this. But this little jig is an alignment guide to work with my Omega 4x5 glassed negative carrier. So this uh, negative carrier has two pieces of uh, anti-Newton glass and I've always used it for scanning or digitizing 4x5 and FP100 films but I had a different setup for doing uh, 120 and uh, 35 millimeter roll films. But I was having some trouble with the 35 millimeter stuff uh, I think because my other carrier uh, that I had made um, I'm picking up the actual texture of the glass and the anti-Newton glass doesn't have any real detectable texture and it's very very thin so I thought if there was some way I could could make this work rather than my other method I was going to give it a try. So this thing basically uh, provides a, a guide that sits on either side of the uh, negative carrier like so and this is really probably most useful before I cut the film. I've, I've already cut film. I don't have a full uncut roll of um, 120 here handy, but basically provides just a, a guide on either side of, of the carrier. Uh, it's also got a series of, ins, uh, of adjustable masks for masking out the non-imaging area for different uh, aspect ratios, different sizes of film. So uh, 6x6, uh, 6x7, 6x9. Uh, so I have a, a strip of 6x6 here, so I'll, I'll use the 6x6 um, mask and it just just drops in there like so and of course I would also use a, um, a mask underneath the whole thing to block any other extraneous light that would come through you know this area here but for demonstration purposes it's easier to see without that so with the light panel on um, the jig goes underneath the carrier like so and then we'll open the carrier the negative Goes in and again this is really made to work with longer strips um, as, as a guide because it really needs to be longer than three in, in order to engage the uh, guides at the edges well i guess that that does work but then that just the glass lays down right on top of that <clears throat> adjust the position if need be but that way i can pull my strip of 120 straight through and with the DSLR, just click, 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 and uh, digitize a roll of film fairly quickly. So I've done this. I've used it with 35. This just came off the printer. The 120 uh, version just came off from a printer, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But I know it works really well with the 35 millimeter uh, stuff, which uh, obviously is basically the same thing on a smaller scale uh, with insertable um, masks. Same idea. And I have them for... Uh, 35 millimeter for uh, wide locks and then I also have a well actually I don't use a mask when I do the um, Fuji GW690 uh, sprocket panos the text pan um, that just fits here so anyway um, I thought it was pretty clever and it works really well so I'm, I think this is gonna be my new jig for DSLR digitizing my uh, my film going forward